What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. This is a quick follow-up to my previous video which showed how to sync metal hardware into 3D prints. I received a comment from Mebby Matthew asking if we could use the same technique for syncing ball bearings into 3D prints and I thought that was an awesome idea so we're gonna try it out. So I bought some cheapo skateboard ball bearings off of Amazon and then it took me a few minutes to draw up something that resembles a fidget spinner. So we're going to try and sync these ball bearings into this 3D printed fidget spinner with the same techniques that we used for syncing nuts into 3D prints. So let's just give it a try. So we're going to try and sync our first bearing. There is a concern that these rubber seals here are going to melt when I heat up the outer ring to try and sync this bearing. But we'll just try it and see what happens. So that definitely worked. Uh, the bearing is pressed into the plastic. It definitely took a little longer than I thought, and I wasn't actually sure if this was going to be successful or not, but it definitely worked. So I learned how to do it during that first one, and I'll explain that as I go and sink the other bearings into this fidget spinner. All right, we're going to sink the next bearing, and this is the strategy that I learned from sinking that first one is that really you just want to use the soldering iron to heat up the bearing and then you're using this secondary screwdriver to push on different parts of the bearing to sink it in. Um, it definitely takes a little while. Um, I probably had the soldering iron on that last one for a few minutes before it actually started to move, but let's sink this one right now. Now it'd probably be easier to get it seated really flat if it had a seat to sit in, but this is just a hole the size of a bearing, so it might be in there a little crooked. But there we go. Now I'm just gonna sink the rest of these. Overall, this worked out awesome. I didn't know if it was possible, and it definitely is. Um, a few comments, you can see that there's a bunch of nick marks on the plastic, and these occurred any time that the soldering iron slipped off of the bearing when I was trying to heat it up. You can definitely be more careful. I was straddling a camera the whole time, so it was very hard for me to be precise about it. But overall, this worked out. All right, so thanks, Mebby, for the suggestion there. This is pretty cool. I never thought about sinking ball bearings into 3D prints with the soldering iron, but it works. So feel free to try it. Be careful. And if you have any other ideas you want me to try out, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.